Good morning everyone, welcome to the vlog. I hope your day is starting out amazing. So Noah and I are driving to the shop today. We had kind of a funny idea for a video that we were thinking about doing. We were talking about trying, like acting like we were gonna fly a bearded dragon in our drone. But we wouldn't actually be flying the bearded dragon. It would be like a fake flying, like, oh look it, it's going, and then you see the drone fly away, and then we'd eventually say, listen, we didn't fly the bearded dragon. Regardless, you guys may know, I get a little bit of hate, well, okay, I get a lot of hate from now and then just for whatever random reasons, and Lori said, bad idea. She said that she thought, and Noah, I think it's a great idea. Screw all the haters out there. He can't even spell swimming, he's calling me dumb. <laughs> so regardless, we're probably not going to do it, but I wanted to bring it up to you guys because I wanted to see what you, you guys think. I mean, I know I have to walk that line, you know, I know people are just looking for reasons to, to kind of get on me about things, but uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, if I would have done something like that would have been funny or should I just stay away from that type of stuff? Regardless, that was kind of the plan or one of the plans me and Noah talked about last night when we were at the Pistons game. Uh, and now we're going to change up gears because Lori thinks it's just a bad idea idea so let me know down in the comments we'll just do something else today so me and Noah are talking about this this uh, bearded dragon flight thing and we're gonna do it Noah thinks it's a good idea <laughs> to your demise why do you think people will be so upset people are upset about the dumbest stuff that doesn't make any sense so not that this is bad but you're just giving them another thing for them to say stupid bad stuff about you. Yeah, but we won't actually be flying a bearded dragon in a drone. It's just we're just pretending like we are. You don't actually do any of the things that they say you do. And they still talk bad and say bad things. I think the thing now what we're doing is is we're we're we've kind of established now that we're not doing the bearded dragon. So you guys know the gig, so you're kind of in on it. So I think we're just gonna do it kind of like we're going to, but now you guys know that it's it's not, we're not actually flying a bearded dragon. But let's see how it would have turned out. I mean, do you think that would be cool? Just do it that way? Like we'll just do it, like now everyone knows, everyone that's watching knows that we're not doing it because you were a party pooper and thought that it was a bad idea. Lori, come back. Lori! Before I get started on the whole bearded dragon basket weaving, drone flying, whatever is gonna happen fiasco, I wanted to highlight a few animals that I just think are really beautiful. And a lot of people ask me to highlight them a bit. And that's of course carpet pythons. This happens to be what they would call a Darwin's carpet python. And this is het for albino. Now the original albino carpet pythons came from the Darwin region. And that's why they're a little bit different looking than say, a a lot of the normal carpet pythons that we see here in at least in America and, and they just have a little bit more of that like rust color a lot more blushing in them they're just really a beautiful animal and again it was an interesting so I'm not exactly sure what happened with the albinos but it was something like an animal got stolen out of a zoo and someone bred it and then somehow it got returned I'm not even sure what happened but somehow those animals got out of the country I guess I I'm not even really 100% sure. They're, they're really beautiful animals. As a matter of fact, let me show you an albino right now. And this is the albino right here. So again, it's just really beautiful. And I know being a guy that has been working with carpet pythons literally since I was 18 or 19 years old, and, and really one of the dreams was to have either a pure white one, which hasn't happened yet, a pied one, which would be pretty damn amazing, or of course the albinos. So when the albinos came in, it was really amazing to see these animals finally hit the market. and. Uh, and now there's so many incredible carpet python morphs out there. And this is just a, an animal that's been around for quite a while. And this is what they call a jaguar. It's just a kind of a color and pattern mutation, mainly a pattern, but it also messes with the color a little bit. It's a co-dominant mutation. It's really a gorgeous animal and it's starting to key in on me. 
right now. That's the one thing about carpets. They can be super, super docile, but uh, when they do want to fire up, they can definitely fire up, and I talk with my hands. But regardless, guys, I just thought I would take a few minutes and show you guys some carpet fight times because you're always asking about them, and I think they're amazing. As a matter of fact, let me show you one more before I move on and get to my basket weaving. And that would be this girl here. I was talking about jungle carpet pythons earlier, and this is a jungle carpet python. I mean, take a look at the color on that animal. Of course, just that black and yellow is just truly amazing. And again, the jungles typically stay a little bit smaller than the normal carpet pythons or coastals. I just wanted to show you guys how beautiful that animal is. And uh, again, carpet pythons are a great option if you're just thinking, hey, you know, I want a kind of mid-sized snake, but I don't want a boa constrictor. I want something that's kind of a python. Anyways, carpet pythons are pretty cool. So, all right, let's go start this project of weaving a basket and flying a bearded dragon. Okay, so this video vlog idea was actually going to be a two-part idea. Noah, myself, Fetty Wap here, Stevie Y, is uh, we were going to make him a basket made out of duct tape, all this duct tape. And it's gonna be like kind of a tutorial where if you want a carrying case for your bearded dragon, we will show you how to make a carrying case. Now the second part of this was gonna be once we made this basket and we were like, oh my God, that's cool. Then we were gonna say like, oh my God, I wonder if we could fly that basket with Fetty Wap in the basket in the drone. Well, we weren't actually gonna do it, but we were gonna pretend like we we're gonna do it, and then you would see him fly away, and we would, you know, when it came back, we would actually let you in and say, hey, we didn't do that. That being said, Lori thought it was a horrible idea, which she may be right. So we're, you guys are in on it now, but I'm gonna, let's pretend like you guys don't know what's going on, and we're gonna start this just like you guys don't know that we're, we're gonna play a prank on you guys. So anyways, let's start by making a basket. When making a duct tape basket carrying for your pet reptile, we need to have a idea of the size. So we're gonna use this box right here as a template. And then what we're gonna do, Noah, is we're gonna cut about two foot strips of each one of those duct tapes. So you're gonna go two foot and then you're gonna fold them over, okay? <laughs> we have to make a ton of these strips. And these are the strips that we're gonna use to weave our basket. Make sense? We have all our strips, well not maybe not all of them, but we have a bunch of strips here, and yeah, we now have to lay them out in the basket to weave them. Not exactly sure, we're still trying to figure this out, but I think, I, I think I've got a plan. What are you laughing over there? <laughs> you craft so well. <laughs> Me and Noah are trying to figure out how to be crafty. We're gonna do all right, we're gonna do all right. What we need to do is lay these strips out, essentially the size of this box. So this box will be like here, and we need to lay the strips out according to that box, and then we interweave the actual strips around the box. Uh, we'll get to that. Now we need to weave this strip in and out uh, to start the edges of the box. I'm fast realizing that it might be cheaper to just go out and buy a basket <laughs> rather than make it. But we're, we're committed now. We're gonna get this done. Uh, a lot of weaving ahead of us. We have our base weaved together now. Now you wanna take and put your box like this on the edge where they're gonna be. And what you have to do is start wrapping these up and actually clipping them right to here. And you do that through the entire thing. So that way you have a base all the way around. And then you start weaving it around this way. So this is the finished product now, well, it's not the finished product, but this is the finished kind of basket. Now we have to weave the rest through here to make the basket kind of get together. And uh, you can see these guys here weave through all the way around. Starting to make sense? I think I'm getting this thing figured out. The weave is completely done now. Here is the basket. You can see the underside. Noah, you killed it. I didn't do much. <laughs> You're right. And, and to be honest with you, Lori 
did have to come in and save us. But, but we did the majority of it. So now all we have to do is trim it and put the edge around it and then put a little handle on it. And then I think we're good to go. So let's get to that. What we have to do now is take the box out. What? Yeah, we take the box out. Because this is a basket. This isn't weaving around a box. This is an actual basket. Oh so my goodness, it's going to fall apart. I'm a little worried about <laughs> All our work I was hope for not. this does not fail. All the work was for not. Drew shouldn't tape it to the top first. You can't because then you can't tape the box out. Maybe. Oh, oh my god, our weave is falling apart. Okay, the weave is there. <laughs> so guys, we did it. There it is, the very first duct tape carrying I don't know if it's the very first, but it's the very first for us here. We actually weaved a duct tape carrier for Beard Dragon. Let's see if uh, Fetty Wap likes it. What do you think? I think he will. All right, let's put him in there. Get him. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. What, <laughs> he just dropped him. Oops. All right, go ahead and put Fetty in there. Let's see. Do you like it, Fetty? Look at this. I think Fatty likes it. He likes it. Um, what do you think? Look it, this is like you can just go wandering. Hey, hi, I'm gonna take Fatty for a little walk and this is a perfect little carrying case for him. What do you think, Lori? Uh, well, I think you did it. You should have gave him a window. <laughs> he likes to look it up. <laughs> you know what would be really cool is if we flew him in a drone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, this is the part where we, you know that we're not gonna fly him in a drone, but we're gonna pretend like we fly him in a drone uh, like this. So uh, again, we're not gonna do it, but we are gonna pretend to do it right now. So pretend like you don't know and let me know what you think. All right, so the idea here is guys, to be honest with you, is somehow attach this to that drone and then try to fly off with it and pretend that the bearded dragon's in here, which obviously it isn't. But I'll be honest with you, I don't think there's any way for me to do this. Yeah, see, I can't, I can't attach it. Ah! This is a total fail. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Bad Choice Noah, with Bad Glory. And our skit's not going as good as it was meant to be. <sighs> All right, so guys, I've got to be honest with you. I'm pretty bummed out that that was such a fail with the drone thing. And see, what basically happens is that there's bottom sensors so that they don't crash and you can't really put anything beneath them and fly them, not to mention, it was a really windy day, so I was having a really hard time trying to control the drone and trying to figure out how to put that basket on there, and it just didn't work. And I am completely bummed out because so much of today was spent with that in mind, the fact that I was going to be able to fly that basket, and sure, there wasn't going to be a bearded dragon in it, but it would be really cool to be like, oh, look at my bearded dragon's flying, even though the bearded dragon was never flying. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. That sucks. But with that said, it does give me an opportunity to talk about a couple things that are always on my mind. And the fact that we have to be so careful. Lori was 100% correct. If I would have pulled this vlog off the way I wanted to pull it off, which was basically a prank style in the sense that I would try to make you guys think that that bearded dragon was actually flying. And then of course bring you in and say, hey, listen, it didn't fly. This was a joke, whatever. People would have crucified me for that. And, and I guess that's a little weird to me because, listen, I don't let the hate stop me. I don't let people talking negative about me change my mentality on life. I'm still gonna do the things I love. And But at the same time, it's a bummer that I have to start thinking in my head, I can't do that because people are gonna use that as ammunition against the things that I love and stand for but that's just the way it is. You know, it's so foreign to me. I don't understand why people are so crazy online. I've never really had that mentality. I've never spewed hate towards anyone. If I don't like a video, I just click off it. I don't feel the need to tell people how much I hate them for doing a video that I don't like. <laughs> you know, I just don't get it, you know? And unfortunately, I'm often the subject of a lot of people's attack. 
But don't worry about me because again, I made my own bed. I realized when I started opening myself up that there were gonna be people that were gonna be contrary to the things that I believe in and that they were gonna use certain platforms to try to make me the pariah or the scapegoat for the things that they hate in life. And that's a bummer, but I'm not gonna let them drag me down and you shouldn't either. The truth is guys is that, you know, you just gotta continue to follow the things that you, that make you happy and that you really feel strongly about. You know, I go down a direction in life that not everyone is gonna agree with. Maybe some people think that the fact that I'm trying to edutain you guys, that I use animals, they think that that's somehow abusive. Although I have never intentionally done anything that I thought would harm an animal, yet I went out of my way to continue to protect all the animals. You know, you know, and, and it's very easy, and, and some of you guys may be dealing with either cyber bullying or, or actual bullying, can persuade you to do things that you might not want to do. But you can't let that happen. You have to continue to do the things that you believe in. And if they start to persuade you and change your direction, then they've kind of won, right? And we don't want that. I mean, we've got to live our lives and we've got to do things that we believe in. It's just the way it is. Hey, don't get me wrong. I wake up in the morning and when I see something hateful about me, I think, how can they say that? They don't even know who I am or what I stand for. It's just, I'm human. It's gonna affect me to some extent. That being said, I still continue on the path I believe in and I hope that you guys believe in it too. Regardless, I am sorry that today was a little bit of a fail. I really wanted to see that basket fly across the sky. That being said, hey, it was a pretty cool tutorial how you could make a little carrying case for your bearded dragon or whatever lizard it is. And hey, I tell you what, I am definitely not gonna quit my day job anytime soon and become a crafter. But me and Noah had a good time and Lori helped me out a little bit as well. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for all your support. Smash that like button, hit that notification bell if you don't mind. Be kind to somebody and I promise I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow.